Hey, this is Jason from Denworks. Today we're going to be looking at my 1964 DKW Junior Deluxe. Man nehme einen DKW F12. Nehme damit elegant und sicher jede Kurve. Nehme spielend jede Steigung und die höchsten Pässe. Okay, here we are looking at the uh, rear view of it. That was kind of fun just a second ago. Doing a couple little circles around the cul-de-sac and then throwing her in reverse. And um, it's just a good time. It's the kind of car that you just smile and wave. You're not going super fast, but you, you know, you got to give someone something to look at. Um, anyways, we'll walk it around here and, and take a look at it. It's actually a really solid car. It's not rusty. Um, a couple little spots like I showed on the underneath video, uh, but very minor stuff, especially for a, an old German car. You know, the paint job on it's fairly nice. Uh, there's a lot of little flaws in it and stuff. It wasn't, I don't think uh, it was professionally done or anything like that, but overall it, overall it's, you know, one color looks good. There's a few little, you know, scratches and nicks you can see right here on the car. You can see here on the on the tail light. Right here is nice because you can see all the factory spot wheels going across there. Usually that's a troublesome spot in a lot of cars. Uh, they usually get rusty there. You can see the bumpers. There's some pitting and stuff here. You know, those could be redone. The tail lights are in great shape. You notice too the auto union emblem there. You can see that on the grill of the car too. Locking gas cap, and I have the key to it. I just put brand new tires on it. They're 13 inch 155s uh, by 75. Um, and it's very hard to find the ones with little white walls on it. You can see up here on the roof, there's a little thin spot. A little bit of checking. But you can see right here in the gutters, is very nice, not rusty. And it's the same on both sides. You can see some of the rubber gaskets and stuff, they'll need to be replaced. A little mark from the windshield wiper. And only one windshield wiper is working, this one here. Not sure what's wrong with the other one yet. We had a little mishap on it. Here's a little chips on it. There's a little chip that's touched up. We had a little mishap on it. We were driving it the other day. Didn't get the hood latched and the hood flew up. And there's a, when we lift open the hood later, I'll show you there's a little strap here. Anyways, the hood flew up and kind of creased our hood. And so I had my ding guy kind of smooth it out here and right here. It actually doesn't look too bad. I mean, the paint's not perfect on it. So, but you can just see little tiny bit but he did a nice job and here's some chips that happen on it too so if you ever had a hood fly up on you you know it's not fun and uh but thankfully uh we made it out alive so we'll go ahead and uh turn her around here so you can see the uh, other side of the car man nehme einen dkw f11 nehme dazu die ganze familie Nehme Putzi am Schlawittchen, nehme ruhig auch noch die Oma mit, nehme so viel Koffer, wie man Lust hat und gebe Gas. Oder aber man nehme einen DKW F12. Nehme damit elegant und sicher jede Kurve. Okay, Tim's flipping it around there and we'll show you this side of it. I love the way it sounds. It sounds like a little snow, snowmobile. Here we're at the back. You can see it smokes just a little bit, but we're running... Um, you know, it has oil injection up in the front there, and I'll show you that when we lift the hood, but we mix a little uh, oil in the gas too, just to make sure everything's going. It's supposed to be 40 to one, 
we're probably running 40 to 2 right now just to be safe but the oil injection that was kind of a thing that didn't work real good on these cars and people you know they didn't know what to do but th this one is actually working pretty good when you look down the sides it's a little wavy especially on the doors on both sides of the doors and hopefully you can see this on the door it's just it's just kind of wavy in this area you can see a chip there you see there's no bubbles around the wheel wells original hubcaps rockers are nice there's a little run in the paint there I can see but overall it's it's real clean see the antennas broken off little little crack in the windshield there you can see the front bumpers having some issues too it's starting to delaminate a little bit auto union there's another little chip there hella lights these are in nice shape you can see it's flaking off just a little bit but overall I mean it's a it's a clean little car hard to find something that you can enjoy doesn't take up a lot of room in the garage and we're running this one no reserve so the price is right and we'll take a look at the uh, interior and the engine shots you can see the brake lights are working right now turn the headlights on you can see the tail lights are working forgot to show you this a minute ago got our headlights working and our marker lights are working but only one blinker is working right now and uh, so anyways we'll show you around a little bit more okay let's take a look underneath the hood here it's got a built-in little prop rod for it what you're looking at here is a two-stroke 750 cc what's pretty interesting here is you got three coils running there this is an oil injection pump air filter this is pretty interesting too tim lift the hood up just a little bit a little more light in here your radiator sitting there in the back you got your fan that's kind of a interesting way to do it but that's the way the Germans did it. The uh, underneath there, there is the transmission. You can see the brake down there that we showed you underneath. Up here is the VIN number. There's also another body stamp number here. And then you also seen there was a picture in our auction. There was another VIN number that's down here on the frame. I don't know if you can see that. But there's another number. So the frame does match the body on the car it's got a brand new battery in it i'll show you when we lift open the hood someone had a battery that was too big for it and it made two little dings on the hood and uh, so they're just touched up now but you can see the cross the nose is in great shape there but it's very cute we'll start it up and let you hear it run This oil injection pump right here runs off a belt. I love the sound of it. Rev it up just a little bit. Has that little yin 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 yin. Uh, you know, it just sounds like a little little two stroke engine. So, anyways, it for what you know the size it is, it has good power you can drive it anywhere where around town and um, it's just a really unique car and the way that pump works in there just turns a little thing inside and it lets just a little bit of um, oil go into this line and you want to make sure that line has oil in it all the time there's a light on the dash but anyways it drops into the bottom of the carburetor and makes sure that uh, it's mixing with the gas so, very cute. 
just to give you one little look around here. This is a windshield wiper squirter. It's not working. But there's a lot of little tiny things to sort out, you know, all the fun stuff. But overall, you got a, a really clean little car and something you can drive around and, and tinker with. And uh, so anyways, thanks for checking out our auction. And um, it's going to be no reserve, like I said earlier. And hope it does pretty well. So here we're looking at the trunk. You can see actually it's real nice underneath the trunk. I think those are paint codes. You can see in here, it's damage free. I haven't seen any signs of any accidents on this car. Tail light panel's nice. You can see underneath this mat, it's all painted. Gas tank. Got the jack here, original jack strap, original spare tire. I'll show you underneath here the package tray. That's very clean, not rusty. Here we'll take a look at the interior. You got original door panels. I mean, I bet if you didn't have a set of these, they would be very, very hard to find. And I believe the seats are, are original. Um, I don't think they've ever been recovered. And they're, they're actually in pretty nice shape. You can see some wrinkling on the front one there, but there's no rips in them or anything like that. The carpet was replaced in it. You can see the dash pad. It's in very nice shape, no cracks. Door jams are nice. You know, again, no rust across the bottom. You know, the back seat. Sorry about that. Anyways, there's plenty of room to get back there. You flip the seat forward. You can see in the back, seat's in great shape. You got your back panels too. Headliner's very nice. Very German, very Volkswagen-like. That little light over there on the pillar, I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. Someone actually glued the lens cover on it, and I didn't want to take it off there because I was afraid that I might break the lens cover. So um, it probably could be just a light bulb, I'm not sure, but... I just didn't take it off there. We'll walk around here to the other side. You know, look at the steering wheel on the car. One little tiny crack right there. But I love the shape of it because it's not completely round. You can see it's kind of round up here and then it kind of ovals out down here on the bottom, widens out. Horn button's in excellent shape. You can see the dash pad. It's coming down just a little bit right there. This here's your choke. This here's your wipers. And this one here is your headlights. Shifter. You got your mirror. You can see that seat too. It, you know, it's just a little, little wrinkly, but it's just from wear. I think the car has 45,915 miles on it. I mean, these cars didn't get, get uh, driven a lot. The car's been parked since 03, and before that, it was parked for a long time as well. You can see the door jam. It's very nice. You can see they actually, the quarter panels look like they, you can unbolt them. The door jam's real nice. And that door panel's excellent shape. And there's no rust underneath the doors. We show pictures of that. The door shut real good. Oh, one, two little spots I was talking about when I was underneath the hood. There, that someone put a different battery in there, and there's two little chips right there. But there's another one here. Need a ride? Hey, so here we are sitting inside the. Uh, DKW Junior Deluxe and we're just going to take it for a little spin. It's got uh, four speed on the tree, manual transmission um, and also you know here's your horn button. It's actually a nice horn button but the, the horn's not working. There's various things not working in the car and uh, I just have to take some more sorting out 
and different things. A lot, lot to learn about it. Uh, there's not very many of these cars around. You know, the radio's not working. I like the cigarette lighter. Uh, it's not working, but you push it in on the side, then I think it heats it up. Um, anyways, we'll take it out for a little spin and talk about it. Here's first gear up. A little two-stroke. So she's not real fast on the get-go. I love the wine. Clutch feels good, very good in it. The brakes are nice too. I'm gonna drive straight. I'll take my foot off the brake when I or put my foot on the brake up here and the hands off. See it stops nice and straight. The blinkers aren't working either. Um, right here's your your blinkers on your right hand side. You can see on the dash. I gotta wiggle a little bit. You can see it working there on the dash. There's the one for the the left side. They blink on the same side. You can see the speedometer's working in it. This here is the oil light. This one here is alternator light. You can see they're off. Let her wind up a little bit. Here we're in third gear, just cruising along. I like the wood across there, across the front of the dash. It's just a cute little car. Every time someone sees me driving it around, everyone's always waving her at me, and or, or they're just like, what in the world is that? I mean, they've never seen anything like it. So anyways, we'll cruise it around a little bit and uh, let you get a good feel of it. Okay, here we are underneath the DKW. I thought maybe we'd do a video of it underneath, uh, so that way you could get a good look of different things underneath the car than otherwise than in just pictures. You can see underneath the driver's side inner housing, headlight bucket, all very clean in here. The only thing I noticed here, this is the back of the battery box. There's a couple little pinholes here. Probably something I wouldn't fix, but they're there. You can see behind the wheel here. Looks like there was a re pair done right there a little maybe a little spot of rust right there but if you look underneath the car it's very clean you see the floors I don't see any rust on the floors you can see some a little of the paint coming off on the bottom but very solid we'll look all the way back you can see the bottom of the spare tire that's solid. Just a little surface rust there at the bottom. Back of the trunk pan. Very clean. Again, just paint flaking off there. It's got a brand new muffler on it. You can see inside the, the housings. Sorry. <laughs> Very clean inside here. This is the driver's side. Going over here to the passenger side. You can see no damage on the fender either, on the quarter panel, I mean. Very clean. Kind of nice, you can see all inside there. Very nice. You can see the bottom of the quarter is nice. There's no wheel lip. Uh, I mean, no bubbles on the wheel lip. This rocker is nice as well. Here we are on the driver's or on passenger side. Same, same thing. You got the headlight bucket there. Very clean. Accident free. Right here, just like the passenger side, looks like there might have. I don't know if it's factory or. There was a repair done right there. Uh, you can see that. But in general, you know, take a look at the photos of underneath of it. And, you know, maybe the video will help you too. You can see the body mounts are nice, not rusted out. Nor in the back either. 
And then you also notice too, that's got inboard brakes, kind of like a Jaguar, uh, but this is off the transmission. I'll take you back here, show you the other body mounts. There's a body mount there. Actually, those are just uh, um, bumpers, but there's a, must be, a, oh yeah, there's a body mount there. Another body mount, very clean. I'll take you back here. There's a body mount there. And there's another body mount. So, very clean. So, anyways, I hope that helps you get a better look out of it uh, underneath and get an idea structurally wise what we're, we're looking at here. So,